What is up guys? Welcome back to episode 35. I got my propane heater working again, so it's nice and warm in the room that I'm recording in. I'm not freezing. It's very nice. I'm looking at the ass end of the mothership where the miner is connected and everything is going pretty well. I just added some things to the mothership and I also noticed that the PCU for the mothership is extremely high. I'm running out of PCU so I'm going to have to figure something out about that. One thing that I have done and that's the wrong door. I added 10 building repairs to the very front of this thing. I added 10 building repairs right here. I'm going to use these for grinding mostly. I have them set offset to the front of the ship. Those are going to be kind of my grinding down machines. And I'm going to be grinding down the silo base. Yep, the silo base is, uh, I think it's time. I got the mining ship on, the fighters in the hangar bay. There's not much left for me here. So, this thing is going to get taken out. But before I start grinding it down, I'm going to connect the mothership onto this connector here. Of course, there's a reaver ship right there. Hopefully, it doesn't mess with us. I hope it doesn't. Hopefully, it doesn't notice us also. Pretty big ship. I don't want to mess with it. But I'm going to bring the mothership and connect that front connector onto this guy and try to get all of the items pulled out. I want to see if if I can move it around on the moon without using my hydrogen thrusters. The hydrogen thrusters are kind of the main thrust for this thing, like lift-wise. It's got all these ones back here, all the ones in the front, all these on the engine silo things, whatever these are called. Nacelles, maybe. So I'm going to see if I can run on only the azimuth thrusters to move it around if I can that is great and that way hopefully I can still enter planets like the earth and Mars specifically is the one that I want to go to looks kinda cool I built a base on earth already so now it's time for Mars or something the script seems to be working okay for the most part I got loads of ice so if I need to use the hydrogen engines it's not a big deal we'll go ahead and hop in and we got our Miners on the back, our fighters inside. We can unlock and just thrust up. Uh, boy, this thing is heavy. But it is moving. 19, what is that? Yeah, almost 20 million kilograms. This thing is freaking heavy. So I'm going to move this guy. And it's so big, it's very hard for me to kind of see everything. I'm going to move it over those assemblers and try to get pretty close to where this connector is and then I'll have to move back and so on. This thing rolls pretty good. So I think we've got plenty of gyros on here. So we'll get it right, right about centered and then start coming back and of course a reaver has noticed a nearby something 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 you're not gonna come after me are you I think it's oh it's going after the super gremlin who will win I'm curious I wanna see I know the super gremlins have missile launchers and stuff like that ah, let me out I wanna go take a look kinda get up close see what's going on because the space pirates are sort of kind of almost my friends so how's this looking Heavy Frigate versus Super Gremlin. It looks like the Frigate is winning. I don't want to get too close. Oh, goodness. Why won't we stop? Oh, the Frigate definitely won. I'm getting out of here. Hopefully I don't get shot. And hopefully it doesn't follow me. Yeah, that Frigate is... Uh, crap. Okay. I think we're okay for now. Hopefully it doesn't come over here because it looks pretty powerful and I got my everything inside of here. 
that I don't want to lose. So where is the door? Right here. Why does you? Okay, so you're still going. Wow. Are you done shooting at that thing yet? Cause you're getting a little bit close over here, buddy. Please don't come over here. Alright, what was I doing? Oh yes. I was moving this and getting it ready to dock. And hopefully... You gonna go away? Or are you just gonna sit there? What's going on? I think you're just gonna sit there. Okay. It's a little bit awkward. I'll bring this guy back. Very slowly. And the frigate's moving again. I think we're okay. Yes. Let's get this guy. Right. Right there. A little bit more. Oh, I don't have the connector. Ooh, which one is it? That's a good question. Maybe it's that one. What I can do is get it close. Oh, it was kind of on. Okay, so it is ready to connect. So let's try. Holy crap. Okay, I'm going to search. Connector. Oh, smokes. Uh, which connector would it be? Okay, so it is this one. Cool. So ready to lock. So we can hop out. So now I should be able to tweak the settings on the sorter down here and bring everything into the ship. Possibly. Turn it on. And where can I access you? Where can I see your inventory? Mm, right here. Uh, inventory, ship, cargo. Is it working? Protected? What's that mean? I wonder if I have a sorter or something inside the ship. I can't remember if I put one down here. So we'll go take a look. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So that makes sense. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. So that's why it's not working. So what I can do is not have you painted blue because I don't want it to get grim. I can take this guy off, hopefully, okay, and put a junction, just kidding, we'll put a tube here. That'll get welded up. All right, so this is getting gravel. Uh, I'm probably gonna end up ejecting the gravel. All right, this is gonna take a while. So I'm going to let it finish getting all that stuff out, trying to figure out what the protected thing means. I don't know if the script is being all funky, because it is putting it into a cargo container that is not. Okay. So I think it's messing up because I connected to this space, which has the manager script also. Whoops, I almost took myself out. So if I go ahead and remove this, that should get rid of, sort of, kind of, it's not really, I don't know. Okay, so hopefully that'll fix somewhat the issue and I can get the script running on the mothership only. Oof, getting such lag spikes. So I'll come back. Yeah. Let's change you again. 
There we go. Now I think we're working. Cargo container, a uh, bunch of stuff. Oh, okay. So this one's filling, large cargo container. Why aren't you named? Or is it working on? Kind of cleaning everything up, we'll see. Two ore, two ingots, one component, 62.54. Ingots one is going down, so I think it's cleaning it up. Hopefully. I know I'm putting quite the load on the script right now. So it looks like we're bringing iron in. We have tons of it. That might be a bit of an issue. None of them are marked. Like with the script. So I think it's the ones downstairs that are kind of marked. Okay, so let's do signing containers, adding, it's doing a bunch of stuff. Okay, there we go. There we go, okay. So ores, 100%. Components, 5.8%. Tools, ammo, bottles. Large cargo container ingots. And that's probably going to go almost 100%, if not 24. 150,000 uranium. Oh my goodness. And still going up. Wow. Okay, we're set for uranium. That is for sure. This should be pretty much updated. And if I change you, yeah, <laughs> 216%. Goodness, so I'm gonna have to change that. Custom data. Right, so there's this one. It's 10 million. Do a hundred million. That's a little bit better. Uh, ingots. I'll change this guy as well. Inventory. That should update. There we go. Iron seventeen million. Do we really have that much ice? Twenty one million. Is there really that much? That's a lot. Four. I don't have that much ice. What's going on? We don't have that much. It says ice, 21.6 million. Yeah. Oh well. I'm getting the hang of this. I'm just, uh, uh, it's kind of frustrating using the inventory manager, but it's nice at the same time. I will get the hang of it eventually, but I want to go down here and see if we have gotten everything out so that I can start grinding. No, we haven't. So this is still... So why didn't the ice go in? Oh, I don't think I set ores. So we have ice, ammo, and the guns still. So kind of bring that and annoying I'm not worried about that ammo then so we got tons of uranium in there not too worried about that we got a bunch of bottles and stuff in here so I need to set it to pull ice out and ice and bottles and all kinds of crazy stuff Good enough, at least. Because when I go to grind everything down, it's going to end up taking items. Anyways, I just wanted to get a bulk of the items brought in through the connector first. So we're good there. 
All right, what is going on, but that's pretty much good. I'm gonna go ahead and let it finish grabbing items and whatnot. Hopefully the ice is in here now. There we go, full. All right, so I have disconnected and we are now 69 million kilograms in weight. So we went up like 50,000. We're 50 million. Uh, turn my hydrogen thrusters on. I don't need to have them on. I can still ever so slightly lift and move around with only the azimuth ones, but it does do quite a bit of power draw. And if I have the ice, I might as well use it. So I'll leave the hydrogen thrusters on and we get a lot more oomph. Loads and loads more. So I'm going to leave those guys on. I'm going to change the view, kind of. I don't really feel comfortable doing that. So what I'm going to do now is bring this guy back. Hopefully not run into anything. Right about there. I'm going to let it float. And I'm going to paint the entire old base with my grinding color, which is like a bluish looking color uh, this one and then we're gonna let them do their thing and hopefully nothing bad happens so if I uh, let's see we'll go here control shift paint should paint absolutely everything And then we can turn our building repairs on and let them just start eating and see how much heavier we get from 69 million because that is a lot of weight. But it's for now, it's just for now until we get to the new location. So we'll hop in and we'll go ahead and start, make sure it's the right one front grinders, turn those on, are they gonna work, and there we go, alright, keep an eye on our elevation, 87, tilt a bit, And should work. Hopefully, I'm gonna turn the sound down on those things because it's loud. Do somewhere sound volume 16%. Cool. Uh, what the heck is that? Totally not a trap drone. Of course. I think I'll take a break over here. All this valuable cargo is weighing me down. Okay, so it's trying to get me to go to it. That's fine. You can go ahead and sit there. So inventory, ship, cargo, components should be going up. Okay, it is going up slowly. All right, so I'm gonna let this thing do its thing, keep grinding, doing what it needs to do to try to get the rest of this base taken out and then we're going to be on a very long journey to Mars alright it's all loaded up everything for the most part is grind down still a little bit of stuff left like uh, just steel plates mainly a little bit of the floor some of the walls everything else is gone everything else has been ground down and into the ship so literally everything that I've ever had is inside of this ship right now and I think it is time that we make our way to Mars somewhere I don't know which one is Mars that one on the right I think is Mars hopefully it's Mars so we're gonna head towards that one and I really hope it is Mars otherwise 
I'm going to have a really long journey ahead of me after that. I'm going to close these doors. And I need to tweak some settings still for my controls. Uh, we'll do this view. Kind of thrust our way up a little bit. Bring our HUD back. There we go. So we need to set up. Uh, I think I can just do one. So hyper drive here. Jump. But I want to change some settings because I don't know how far I can go with the hyperdrive fully recharged. It's charged. I can go 361,000 kilometers. I don't know how far away that planet is. I have absolutely no idea. So if I do, uh, we'll do what, two, about 50%, 180,000 kilometers, maybe. Uh, can't be used in a gravity field. Okay, that's fine. So I gotta leave the gravity field. Our A gravity, which I think stands for artificial gravity, I think is climbing so I think it'll go to one once we're in space which will be nice we'll have gravity so if I get out of the gravity field there we go so now yada yada distance to proximity of coordinates blind jump 180,000 kilometers Available percentage 100%, weight of transportation mass 72 million. Holy crap. Okay, let's try it. Let's. Oh, this is scary. Mm, hopefully, it doesn't end in catastrophe and I crash into the planet. Let's try it. Let's see. Is it gonna work? Uh, I hope it works. Hopefully, I don't go too far. Uh, let's see. I went too freaking far. Where the hell am I? And where's the planet? I went way too far. Okay. <laughs> I had a feeling that was going to happen. So, <laughs> I can't even see any planets or anything okay way too far so I'm gonna have to jump back a hundred and forty thousand kilometers or so and I think fully recharged in 18 minutes goodness so 100 uh, 140 39 is fine can I do this jump maybe oh it's only six percent charged okay well I'm <laughs> I'm gonna let the drives recharge and be back. That really sucks. Alright, so just kidding. Apparently I might be able to jump. Okay, so let's try if I use the other hyperdrive which is fully recharged already but if I do 140 ish around here and then let's try that uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, we're gonna get a little bit closer, or we're we gonna be still really far away. I don't know how far away Mars is. We'll find out. Uh, okay. Uh, where 
the heck is that planet? Is this still really that far away? Let me use the camera. Oh, wow. Okay, so apparently it really wasn't that far away from the moon. So now they both need to recharge, right? 15 minutes and 14 minutes. Okay. Uh, max jump distance is zero. Zero. All right. So, yep. Yeah. Okay, so it's going to be a little bit. Uh, I'm going to let those reach, <laughs> recharge this time. And it looks like... Maybe... Oh, I am just... Apparently I jumped way too freaking far. Maybe it's only 500 kilometers away or something like that. So, yeah, I'm going to kind of just cruise... And maybe not. Why isn't it not? Something is dragging me and slowing me down. So apparently I'm not going to cruise. Okay, that's fine. I'm not going to cruise. I'm going to let these recharge and hopefully get closer because this is, <laughs> is ridiculous. Alright, I am finally, ever so slowly, making my approach on Mars. Which is not a hundred and some odd thousand kilometers away, it's only just over a thousand kilometers away. So yeah, I jumped extremely freaking far for no reason, and that was cool. I... Uh, let's see. I'm using this admin thingy, only so I can... I've been sitting here trying to figure out the sun's rotation so that I can kind of get a spot that is pretty much always in the sun. And it looks like right there on top is where I'm going to go. And I wonder if I can try to jump just a little bit closer. These hyperdrives are insanely powerful wasn't really expecting it so if I do like point zero zero nine thirty eight kilometers maybe it'll let us can't jump into a natural gravity field okay well can I bring it down just a little more point zero zero six nine 30 kilometers yes we can do that okay so we'll jump 30 more kilometers hopefully nothing catastrophic happens and try to get a little bit closer to that top sort of peak area there we go that's a little bit better and we just hit the gravity field so that's cool I'm gonna use this time day offset thing again I'm just trying to get the right spot. So, mm. all right. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking I kind of know where I want to go. It's gonna be a little bit up, and then I'm gonna do that offset thing again as well. Once I get closer to the ground, I don't really know if that's cheating. I have, uh, like, it's not creative mode, and I have, like, cheats off or something. I don't know what the heck it's called, but the only thing I'm doing is that time of day offset. And it took me a little bit to figure out how to do that, because I want to find the spot where the sun is pretty much always shining. And I think it's going to be right up here on top, and it looks like there's snow or something also, which is pretty interesting. Turn my dampers back off again for now, and I'm going to have to slow down at some point, definitely, because heat is going to start affecting me. So 
like right now we're going pretty quick. Alright, so I think I know where I want to go. I see the spot. It's like right there. So it's right where the numbers are. Like right there should be a pretty good spot. So we'll try and get in pretty close to that and I'm gonna land the ship and then see how the sun fares for us hopefully good alright almost there gravity's almost earth gravity and we seem to be doing okay so I think we should be good Come in right about this area here. Doesn't look like there's any mountains or anything like that. Come in nice and slow. Three hundred meters. Right about here we'll kind of level out ship and see how uh, a little bit dark but there's still some sun it looks like it's kind of behind the planet but it's still there Keep going. It's kind of dark right here. Still there. And keep going. So it gets a little. Yeah. I think right about here should be a pretty good spot. So go ahead and bring the ship down. Try to get it locked up. Locked. We are locked. We'll turn our hydrogen thrusters off. And it turned <laughs> turned on my miners thrusters again. That's something I gotta figure out. Uh, the mining ship when I was turning the thrusters off would turn the thrusters on and off on this one. I changed their name to thrusters for the miner and it was seemed to be working pretty good and but now this one if I'm in this ship and I turn the thrusters on and off it turns them on and off on this one it's pretty annoying so I'm gonna have to figure something out with that there's a lot that I'm still learning the Sun is a little bit low right there but I think we'll be okay for the most part seems pretty good and I can also you can see it's shining bright up here so the solar tower I can end up building pretty high up so yeah we're on Mars there's zero oxygen and freezing temperatures that's awesome so it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge kinda like the moon and there's even more gravity but I wanted a bit of a change of scenery I guess you could say and I apparently have it because <laughs> we moved 2,000 kilometers away from the moon to Mars it's pretty pretty awesome so I'm gonna kinda get settled for the most part I'm gonna take the mining ship off and get it parked somewhere. It doesn't have any landing gear, but it can float for now. That's fine. Probably put some landing gear on it. I gotta get used to this having more gravity than the moon. And I noticed the script got all screwed up on this thing with the doors closing, probably because I connected to the mothership. So that's there's so much I gotta figure out. I know scripts are kind of 
Unlock. We're good, right? Okay. So move this guy somewhere, maybe kind of sort of over here. Wow. I get heat already? Is it going like 50? Goodness. So this thing gets heat pretty easy then. Alright, so right. Uh, right about there. We'll leave you here for now. Are you working now? Not working now. So I do this again. You work now? Now you're working, okay. So this door script is super annoying. I definitely want to find a better one. I don't know why the programmable blocks kind of like interfere with each other, but it is definitely pretty frustrating. I'll have to figure that out. Uh, for now, I'm gonna let this thing float, and I need to set up some sort of platform, some sort of area for a base, and figure that out. Should be pretty fun. Let's see. Uh, I might actually move kind of this way a little bit. Maybe more towards this area. It's a little bit more lit up. Uh, but then it gets dark. No? Okay. So I think where we're at it is a, hmm, probably about as good as we're going to get. So I'll probably just build somewhere here in front of the mothership so that it can do some building for me. I think probably right around this area. It's a very flat sort of planet. It's interesting. Very interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and get like a platform set up, a temporary ish platform where I can kind of park my ships and stuff, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys, I've got a somewhat of a structure kind of built I just threw together real quick it's got really thick corners a couple of lights kind of a cathedral ceiling sort of thing one battery because my building repairs wouldn't build anything unless it had like a power source on it I guess it had to be owned or something but it's working now I've got this whole sort of setup here that I kind of just threw on real quick. This is where I'm going to put my solar panels. Sort of temporary-ish uh, kind of setup. I just want to get power to the base at some point. And I wanted to try out this smart rotor mod thing. Uh, smart rotor solar type B non conveyor version with dual rotor heads placing this base automatically places all sub parts okay so if I search solar there we go solar support support structure for solar panels so I can use this thing I don't know how special it is, what's different really. Um, yeah, I don't know, it's kind of weird looking. Uh, I don't know why it has that like back piece, it's interesting. So me, uh, I don't know, I don't know if I want to use this thing. I think I'm going to try it without the solar support. I'll add this stuff up a little bit more, probably right about here. And I'll check out this solar rotor type B deal. So do I put it here? Maybe? Is that how you do it? 
Oh, hello. Wait, is that already working? Yo, that's pretty cool. So, it's already looking at the sun. So if I do some arms. Eight on each side. Okay. So that, okay, that might actually work out pretty well. So let's get rid of the junction. I don't need that. And if I do solar, oh, there's a bunch of options. There's a quantum black solar panel, which is these quantum black solar cells, which I don't have right now. Solar panel tier two, three, four, and five. That's a pretty gnarly solar panel. Uh, one of these uh, centered, tiny medium solar panel solar panel medium centered let's see what this looks like I'm curious so it's one block and it's apparently centered mm, not right there it's not so right here let's put you and you we'll do two of them I just want to see are these actually going to work pretty well? So two of them will bring us uh, 120, so they're about 60 kilowatts a piece. Uh, max output 60, which isn't a lot. So one of them is a max output of 60. Let's take a look at just a normal solar panel maybe where's the normal solar panel do i not have it unlocked where the heck is the solar panel right here oh uh, is it replacing it so solar panel tier one i guess is the new solar panel all right so let's try a solar panel tier one and then we'll see what this one brings out so put you there and that's welded up already we'll take a look and see what kind of power output the regular uh, solar panel tier one 120 kilowatts so the centered panel is 60 but it's also about half the size so it's, it's the same as the the solar panel tier one because the tier one takes up two spaces so centered one is centered that's a huge plus so I think for now I'm gonna go with these centered ones because they're centered they don't look that great they kind of look like crap I'm not gonna lie but I do like that they're centered so I'm gonna do these ones for now and do that sort of setup on both sides and then that'll pretty much be it for now I'm gonna go ahead and deposit my inventory and then grab the items that I need again and start getting this place it looks like I'm gonna have to bring the mothership up to finish building the rest but that's fine so I'll get all of these oh no <laughs> no oh goodness 
Alright, so I'm gonna get the rest of these placed and move the mothership and get them all welded up and we'll see what sort of power output we are capable of. Alright, so I've got 16 on each leaf, if you would, so besides 16, 16, 32, 64 panels, I think. Bringing in just under four megawatts, which is pretty good. Definitely enough to, you know, charge up some batteries and then use a ton of power when I need it. So these aren't too bad, but eventually I'm definitely going to look into those tiered panels and start getting some, you know, tier three, tier five. Tier 5 panels I feel like would probably be pretty powerful. I'm going to have to look into that in the future, definitely. But I do like that these ones are centered, but their graphic is kind of weird. It just looks almost cartoony. But they work. You know what I mean? They're doing what they need to do, full power. And I don't know, they just... Their appearance doesn't really do it for me they look kind of out of place so the new ones with the black solar cell and all that stuff definitely gonna look into using those at some point but these ones will do they'll do for now it's kind of a somewhat power situation thing get a nice little picture here with the the mothership and the solar panel we're on Mars that's crazy but that's gonna do it for this episode guys I'm probably not gonna do too much off camera there's not too much to do I think I might dig out underneath here I want to put a hole in the center or center ish because I kind of screwed up when I made this so there's no center really so I want to dig a hole and we're going to build underground, but I'm going to use a drill and fill system drill that's secured to the base to kind of dig out nice square channels, if you would, instead of using a normal drill, which will be nice. It will be clean and efficient. So that's going to do it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys on the next one.